I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters. I am Pastor David Vandy of the Vandy Christian Network. And today I bring you word from the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 10. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, when Jesus appeared as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient even to death on the cross. So no other name deserves all honor and praise, might and majesty, dominion and power. For there is no other name under the heavens whereby we must be saved. The truth of this scripture is an offense to all those that are not saved, but to those that have been saved, it is life, eternal life, abundant life, by grace through faith. Hallelujah. You see, we meet together in his name and come to the throne of grace through the name of Jesus. His name is the name of authority in heaven and hell. And demons, death and Satan, when they hear that name, they tremble at the awesome name of Jesus. Jesus is the one that is the author and finisher of our faith. Our great high priest, our shepherd and our king. He is the seed of the woman that crushed the head of the old dragon called the devil and Satan. His coming was anticipated in the Old Testament and it was made manifest in the New Testament. He was the focal point on which the expectation of all the prophets rested and the revelation of the Father in heaven which has been given to us. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is the name that calms our fears. And it is the name of Jesus that causes undying thanks and worthy praise that goes up in the bosom of the believer. And yet, it is the same name that will strike horror and dread on all that have not believed on the name of the Son of God. By God's amazing grace, he created man and became man to save us and has become the high priest and the sacrificial lamb. He is the head of the church and the word of God. Jesus is the one that is full of grace and truth and who walked all his life in willing obedience to the spirit of God. And we are called to follow his example by denying self and crying to God, Thy will, not mine, will be done. Hallelujah. We are encouraged to have this attitude in us, which was in Christ Jesus, who although he existed eternally in the form of God, he did not consider himself equal to God. A thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself taking the form of a born servant and being made in the likeness of men. He dressed himself in sinless humanity and came to earth in appearance as a man. The Lord Jesus humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death even on the cross. It is for this reason also that God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the Father. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Loving God, my dear Father in heaven, I thank you this morning for Jesus. I thank you for my Savior and my King. 
my Lord and my God, who alone is worthy to receive all honor and praise. I pray that I draw ever closer to him and that I may decrease and he may increase until Christ is seen in me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.